You guys mentioned that you're expanding the U.S. team, which no. I'm going to let you guys talk about that, the hiring process. So I'll let you go through all those uh, bullet points. Yeah, exactly. So um, we are looking for people in the U.S. So we thought, yeah, we take this moment to, yeah, advertise a little bit. <laughs> and yeah, and I think um, Christopher will tell you a little bit about the hiring process and what's really important. So if you feel that you want to um, be part of our A team, yeah, you can apply for our website. We have like a, on our drop down menu, there's career. You can just apply through that. Um, yeah, but Christopher, since he's new to the team and he's only been there a few weeks, he can tell you a little bit about the hiring process and why we do things the way we do it. Yeah. So the whole thing starts off with uh, you having to record yourself and like who you are instead of just writing it down. You have to like record yourself to show yourself who you are and uh, to like let you know your audio experience and your setup and stuff. <laughs> and then you send that in along with your application and your resume and stuff. Uh, and if you get to, to the interview section, it's like, it sounds a lot, but it's like four or five interviews. And like I said, it sounds a lot, but it's just so the rest of the team, like me and Lucas and everyone else can get to know the new person we're hiring. Because I told my parents like, yeah, I'm on interview four now. And they're like, what? How many do you have, man? I'm like, it's it's a lot, but then I know what I'm going to and they, mm -hmm. they know who they get. So it's it sounds like a tedious process, but I, I think it's well worth it because, yeah, you know where you end up. Definitely. End. Yeah, that, and that shows that they're not just going to willy-nilly hire anybody. Uh, yeah, we need some people. Go ahead and hire that guy. You know, Yeah, so yeah. the vetting process is, is, is good. It's kind of like that at my job, too, where depending on the position, but... You know, sometimes they have a panel too. So I don't know if you guys do that in your on yours, but sometimes like at my job, you may have two or three interviews and then you have a panel and it sounds intimidating, but that just shows that the company really wants to make sure that they hire, you know, good people, quality people, especially with customer service. That's important. You got to make sure that that's, you don't get that wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. The mentality is super important. Yes. Absolutely. So then we have next the onboarding process is, or did you cover that as no, well? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, okay. So that's <clears throat> basically done over four weeks and uh, you start out like first learning about the company and the, the goals of the company and the value of the company, which is almost more important than anything. Cause if you don't share the same values as the company, then you're not going to fit at all. Yep. You need to like have that mind for excellence and that will to like put in the work. Uh, and then you like, get into all the systems and you you get to know your, what you're going to do. And yeah, you just get a, an overall introduction. And then you get a progressively more and more responsibility as the weeks go on. And yeah, you become someone your team kind of has to count on. You become very like, um, what's the word for it? Accountable? Yeah, yeah accountable. Great. Right. So then how do you train and build each individual team members? Do you want to take that, Lucas, or should I just continue? You could just continue. I talked um, a lot. Oh. Uh, so the first thing is um, we have like these personal de development programs. Okay. Uh, so for every team member to like be their best and most efficient self, we go through various programs and everyone is like a part of it, but at their own pace. If they like, for me, for instance, I joined uh, later than Lucas and they had already started their program. Uh, so I started my program and uh, I'm like not catching up, but I'm like starting to figure out how and why the company works the way it does. And another way is uh, we build each individual is like, if I am super good at something that isn't in my like um, uh, position description, then I can uh, bring that up with the Anuva or someone else on the team. And I'd be like, yeah. Uh, this week or next week, I want to focus on this specific thing because I'm very good at this. For instance, taking pictures or yeah, just doing something that I'm good at that can benefit the company. Then I focus on that and then I do that. And then I bring what I'm best at to the team, which is kind of kind of important and kind of cool. And then you have uh, personal growth. Yeah, that's kind of tied to how we build uh, the team members. Uh, that you don't just grow like as a company or as a person, but you like grow together and being a part of Arndal, I've already noticed like how I've grown and how 
how I can improve on myself and how how a good team works. Because I have been a part of teams before in the past, but <clears throat> nothing that f- functions like this team does. You generally feel like everyone is rowing the boat in the same direction. And if one starts to like deviate, you notice it, but that's not the case here at all. Everyone is just like super focused, super in line. Yeah, and that is definitely apparent. Like I said, I've s- sent numerous, numerous emails between, you know, not just these guys, but some other guys too. And I might not get the same person every time, but if someone else replies, like if I email Lucas and we send a few emails back and forth and then Christopher comes in, there's no gap. They all know like what's going on. And it's just, it's it's awesome that you can have that type of customer service at a company. So, I mean, that's obviously a testament to how you guys are training your people and how the, the importance that you place on that team effort. Yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, that when someone's gone on vacation, you don't leave the customer hanging <laughs> because, you know, that's, that's no, that's a no go. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, everyone knows, you know, what to do basically. And, um, that we have all the same mindset and, you know, all follow the same culture. So speaking of culture, let's talk about that freedom and responsibility. Yeah. So we kind of dictate our own work day. As long as we like do what you're supposed to do, you don't have to like know how many hours you're working and stuff. As long as okay. you, you do what you're supposed to, uh, it's kind of up to you how you get there. As long as it doesn't negatively affect anyone, of course. But it's very, very much up to yourself how you accomplish tasks and 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 how you do stuff. But then again, that's also for some. If you if you don't accept or handle that responsibility, then it could go wrong. So it's very important that you are a structured person and that you that you can like grab yourself by the neck and and stay focused. 